There's the stainless steel butt joint clamp which installed on the where there was a cut where somebody tried to take it off steal a catalytic converter. This is a stainless steel butt joint band exhaust clamp and it's in a two inch model. They come in different sizes, two, two and a quarter, two, three fourths, three, three and a half, four, four and a half. There may be some more sizes, but these are about, I don't know, anywhere between seven to ten bucks, maybe more. And this clamps a pipe that has a hole in it or a cut and it seals and is somewhat structural because it has this is three inches wide some of them are three and a half but this is three so uh, you take this apart wrap around the pipe and you tighten this down to 48 to 60 foot pounds and in my case what happened is somebody tried to steal the catalytic converter here and they did a saw cut halfway up so there was a big exhaust leak there's a converter this is from Magic Muffler and Thousand Oaks from years ago. And when I replaced the exhaust manifold, I still had a, some exhaust noise and found out they had, somebody had come through here with the sawzall and made a cut up to here. Now what this is, is this is just a, wrapped with a piece of copper here. And it has a hose clamp. And that actually seals pretty well. But it's not really structural so if I don't have something like this on here what's going to happen is it's going to go through and uh, have fatigue failure and bust so I might get a new pipe on here if I ever get a new converter but this was just temporary put on this actually seals well it's just a regular clamp and those really aren't probably rated for exhaust but this has been on for about a month there's the copper piece and then here's the clamp. Okay, you can see here in the temporary one where that is actually from the exhaust. It's got a pretty big cut, so this is the inside. That's where it was clamped down. And these marks here is just something I put on because I first put it on didn't have it ranged right. And I had to goof around and figure out where to put this thing over here to get it to seal. Probably should have put two clamps on with a bigger piece, but that seemed to work fairly well. Now this would work for better if it had a exhaust rated clamp, and if this was such, this was not in a structural place because this is hanging down, so it's going to tend to uh, want to open up this gap here. So that's the reason to put this on here, the proper thing. Now I'm taking this apart. The T-post piece faces out. That's flat, and this is curved on the inside. Okay, we're using the Scotch-Brite pad on a wheel from 3M. This is a worn out one, which is smaller in diameter. Sometimes they're really four or five inches, but this allows me to get in here in a tighter spot. So sometimes they use these old ones so for something like this. Yeah, and I wore a muzzle mask here just to get some dust out of, out of my lungs. Okay, this is the clamp that goes on here because this is starting here and kind of going that way. I need to have it this a little bit off the center. The center needs to be like here. That's why I got these lines on here. Now if I put it like this, in this car that sits low, it'll tend to bump. And I'm going to probably put it either like this probably put it up on the top like that because this is going to tend to open up so that would be structurally pretty strong like that I'm gonna put it up like this okay 
these two going like this. And I could put it that way or the other way. I think I'm going to put it like facing down. There's the flat part faces out. And more up so that never can drag as long as I can get a wrench in there tighten it now it could be like that like that's not bad either okay these are turns out these are 9 16 on here head size. There don't have any marks on here whether they're grade 8 or grade 5. They're probably grade 8 since they're supposed to be torqued between 48 to 60 pound, uh, foot pounds. And I'm going to put this about like this just so I can get in here with my torque wrench right here to torque this guy up. I could put it like that. This may show from the outside. It doesn't really matter but I don't want to go like this. I could. This gives me a little bit more clearance. Okay. Now I'm going to this thing up with the wrench. Okay, I got a extension a deep socket here. That's an impact one. The bolt got long enough that I couldn't get this out. Well, when I'm tightening these, it's a turn, and so I'm holding the back here. It's about 30 foot pounds right there. Okay, I've got these torqued up to about 40 foot-pounds, and on the Summit Engineering site, uh, there maybe there's a better brand. They say 48 to uh, 60, and say they're grade 8 bolts. These were not marked, so this mystery brand from Amazon might be one with lesser bolts. It goes up to about 40, and then this goes 0 to 50, and that's about it. It just keeps on stretching, so... I'm going to leave this on and then come back in a week and retighten it. But right now it's just going up to where it's, uh, it's just like stretching the bolts or maybe it's stretching the 304 stainless in the mount. But it's like it just keeps on going and going. So got up to about 40 and that was about it. But that's pretty still pretty strong on there. So it might be there's two different grades, and maybe the cheaper ones are wimping out on the strength of the bolts. But these are U.S. Uh, threads. Those are uh, 9 16 hex. I think these are 3 8 They look like 3 8 inch bolts. Yeah, this is one that came off of Amazon. Made in China. It didn't have anything about the torque specs. Now the real question on this two inch model, when you go to a bigger model, maybe they use uh, bigger bolts and that's what's going on. But I got up to 40 and that was about it. Just you're stretching the bolts and I can't build up any more torque than that. 
There it is up under there. This has got plenty of clearance from here. I think this has been on here since 1993. But that's, you can see where it's, the feel on here, where it's uh, conforming to the pipes. I'm pretty sure that's pretty well sealed on there.